Welcome to part two in the Kibi Animation Basic series. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover how to make a widget move with an animation. So we're going to click this button eventually, and this little menu will slide up. And then we're also going to see um, how to use the on progress function of the Kibi Animation class. So let's go look at the KV code. So from the last video, I've, I've still got my float layout here and my button. Um, which says open menu now and it doesn't do anything yet. And then I also have the sliding pop-up, which is a class I created up here. And I've given it a size hint. So it's 30% of the height and the full width of the screen and then a position hint. So right now it's at 0.3 and I'm gonna put this uh, to zero. And so if I run again, you don't see it anymore because it's, it's below the screen here. So that's where I want it to start and then all the way to the right. So in my little menu, this is some pretty basic stuff. It's just a label and a grid with two buttons. Okay, so I won't go over that too, too much in depth. Now what I wanna do is to make the sliding pop-up uh, rise out of the bottom of the screen. So what has to be animated is this top uh, position hint. So the trick I can do here is I can give my sliding pop-up a new attribute. I'll say, um, top hint okay I've just made that name up and I'll say it's zero and then over here I can write self dot top hint and if I run the code again okay it's still below it and now if I change top hint to say 0.3 and I run it it's back now I can change this top hint uh, in my animation class and it'll automatically change the top in here all right so remember self dot and then the name of your attribute that you want to animate all right so in my animate the button function actually let's make sure that it's actually called so the button will say on release and then i'll do app dot animate the button and then let me pass the widget which will be the sliding pop-up so let me give it an id i'll say uh, the sliding menu and then I can use that ID to pass, oops, I can use that ID to pass this widget. So when I click the button, it's going to call animate the button on my widget here. Okay, so let's create a new animation. And what we want to change, remember I said, was this top hint. So remember the animation, you can animate any attribute of your classes so I'll say top hint and I want it to go to point three and then I'll just do anim dot start on my widget and remember the widget is what's being passed right here the slided menu so I'll oh, let me put this back to zero okay so it starts off the screen and when I hit open menu it slides up just like that we have motion all right um, that was pretty easy. So let's look at the on progress function of this animation class. Okay, remember in last video we looked at the um, on complete function. So on complete means a callback is called whenever the function, whenever the animation is done. And then we can also bind the on progress. Okay, so we'll give it a callback. I'll say self dot. Uh, my progress callback. All right, so now anytime any progress is made in the animation, it's going to call this function, my progress callback. So let's create that. Define my progress callback. I have to take in self, and I'll take in args as well. And now maybe I just want to print, um, let's see. I believe the progress comes as a, as a fraction, zero to one. So I'll say progress, and I think it's args, and args two, I believe, is the is the what I'm looking for. So let's print the progress. Okay, so when I click it, all right, you see all that stuff printing out down there? That was all the progress. So it ended at one, and if we scroll up, it starts up at zero so you can tell how far along your your animation is 
And if I want to make this take longer, I'll say take five seconds. And then we'll see that what it prints comes in a bit slower. All right, 30% done, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, all the way done at one. All right, so there you go. We have a little bit of motion and we've looked at the on progress function. All right, thanks guys. Part three coming soon.